Afternoon guys, James here from Sunseek Southampton. Sunny afternoon down at the factory headquarters in Poole, UK. A uh, really exciting tour for you this afternoon, fresh out of the box, literally off the production line in the last 48 hours. I have boat 611, which is a Manhattan 68 2021 model. She's a stock boat available now, and we're gonna have a look around her today. Uh, she's on the water just behind me here. Spin the camera around. You can see her here in the sunshine really really cracking looking boat a couple of custom color options on so we've got a, a sprayed black hold top up there on the flybridge contrast really nicely with that black boot top stripe running just along the waterline really sets off those lovely big panoramic glass windows running through the hull and then we've got some detailing things like carbon fiber engine vents on the back there with some nice bits of stainless steel so very, very pretty looking boat. Uh, powered by a pair of V8 MAN 1200 horsepower shaft drive diesel engines. Getting on for a top speed around 32 knots. Uh, and loaded up here, she's got twin gyros, massive spec, literally everything you possibly want. Uh, she's coming in about 2.38 million pounds X tax. Very, very highly spec. Uh, suitable for med or UK usage here, very much in the realms of owner operator size. We've got four cabins which at this size makes a very popular charter yacht. Let's head on round and take a look on board. So here we are now round alongside her. You can see great access here onto the platform. It comes full width on the back of the boat. Beams 5.26 metres. So fits on the popular med. Moorings for yacht of this size. She's just over 21 metres LOA tip to tip. You can now see a little bit more of this detail here on the engine vents bright white gel coat unique to Sunseeker the rail white colour that we use really makes the, the boat stand out very shiny down in the Mediterranean sunshine compared to some of our competitors that use more of a cream colour uh, boat was launched this model Dusseldorf Boat Show start of this year I uh, say so this is the 11th Pile off the production line. Uh, being owner operator size, we do have the option, and as this boat has spec in the, the transom here, we've got a, a two bed crew cabin, which we'll have a look at shortly. And we've also got a lift up beach club arrangement in the back here. Platform on the stern here will lift 450 kilos, which will take a 395 Williams jet tender or a jet ski. Let's head on board. Have a look around. Uh, so just pop the button here. We've got a lift up crew door. And inside, two single beds running thwart ships down there. Uh, we've got a little storage cupboard, dressing area. There's a washer dryer down there, Miele unit, um, as well as a, a heads here. Handy if you're using it as an owner operator, um, just somewhere for Washing off when you come out of the sea. We've got this nice practical wet room floor in here rather than a carpet. Um, and it's fitted out in the same woods and upholsteries that you'll find in the guest cabin. So even doubling up as a fifth guest cabin if you need it. Uh, we've got an 8,000 BTU aircon system separate in there to the rest of the boat uh, just to make it usable down in the med sunshine. Uh, you notice we've got dual access doors in one either side of the platform just depending on which side you're moored up, especially if you've got a tender on the back there. Um, platinum med pack, so we've got things like docking winches here, nice little bins for tailing off your lines. Down on the back there, we've got additional lower level cleats for doing transverse springs, like you can see running across there. Big teak top uh, twin leaf tables, so these obviously lift up Nice little drinks holders revealed under there if you want to use it more as a coffee table. And over on the starboard side, the optional wet bar pack. So we've got an ice maker, a small cupboard for storage, and a nice little sink there in what would otherwise be dead space. Obviously a lot of open floor space here, so there's various options if you want to make more of a permanent feature out here. Uh, we can do a a corner bar unit, we can do some fixed seating, uh, a couple of nice bean bags, 
but as is more common these days just to have everything open plan then you've got the versatility to use the space for a multitude of different uses uh, plenty of space here on the back of the table for a couple of director's chairs i like the bean bags or those big blow up air seats that you can you can fold away to nothing makes it a very practical space here over on the starboard side we're just going to pop the aft end of the boat up here you'll hear the buzzer just beeping away in the background uh, and this is the stern transformer beach club so gone are the days where you might have just had a seat or uh, maybe a pop-up shower this is now very much more about connecting you with the water storage for equipment uh, we've got c bob lockers down here as well so it'll take two f5 c bobs right down at deck level here got nice lights up in the lids we've got a big soaker shower in the roof uh, storage for hanging lines bit of fenders uh, dive bottles see places to put toiletries and towels uh, your masks and snorkels what have you uh, lift up teak uh, seat and then this is the deck locker below so uh, the back leaning edge of this actually drops out you can see the little catches in there and that means if i just stand back here the uh, the platform when it's dropped down into the water you drop out that little section and you can literally float the sea bobs out they weigh about 35 kilos each so just saves having to pick them up and manhandle them in and out of the water nice little touch so the engineers ever ever thinking about ways to make life on board just that little bit more straightforward uh, it's a fixed molding on here so we don't fit it on stock boats just because it's easy to retrofit but that is an option to lift up and give you a, a third station helm control with the remote control systems these days i have to say we don't fit many fixed stations you've got the yacht master and dock mate and all of those to consider a full teak package running throughout the side decks and up on the flybridge deck storage lockers here uh, these have got additional plug-in points for a deck wash as well as one on the anchor uh, teak is worth noting this is lignia which is uh, actually a welsh company uh, we're working with them for a couple of years now on started the manhattan 52 um, it's a replacement to the burmese teak and we've been very pleased with the the finish it gives it's a lot more hard wearing than totally natural wood it's fully sustainable And if I'd not told you, you'd never know. So, yeah, we feel this is uh, this is the way forward really now. So, you'll see it more and more on our forthcoming models. So, centre line here, we've got a large sun pad with lift up backrest there, and then behind we've got a seating area. Obviously, down in the med, this is your private area when you're moored stern two. You've got the optional bimini frame here, which is like a, a pram hood here to give you some protection. And then you'll see some Sonance speakers up here. Um, up forward we've got a 40, uh, 40 kilo anchor there, 90 metres of chain, uh, it's a V6 24 volt upgraded Lumar winch there, plenty of space down in the bows here for storing fenders. And then up top you can see a, a remote control spotlight, nice big pantograph, windscreen wipers makes it very easy to drive both inside and out and then if we come back aft we'll take a look around the inside uh, we've got four door panes here so this one potentially uh, will also slide across onto the starboard side and pack away behind the wet bar there um, i've currently just got it set up configured with one here and then a nice big opening there uh, flush you won't see a threshold on the door there uh, so this is a drain underneath those slatted panels just means you're not stubbing your toe walking in and out. And as is the trend with many uh, boat manufacturers these days, we've gone for a, a galley aft up here on the main deck. Makes serving in and out very straightforward if you're downing the med. Um, and the finish, so we've got two contrasting finishes. Uh, the dark wood being a venge, the satin open grain very nice popular wood uh, with a bright white lacquer so 
First time I've seen one of these done like this and it's very contemporary in here. Love the feel, very clean, fresh. Contrasts nicely with a silver oak Cadorian hardwood floor there in the, the kind of high traffic galley area and this sort of seating area over on the, the port side. Uh, say so literally out of the factory fresh here. So these are the um, sunbed cushions for up on the flybridge. Uh, you've got the option to put a table in here if you want permanent dining, but we're seeing a trend to move away from that now and just generally owners choosing to dine out in that half cockpit in the evening. Uh, lighting wise, we've got these lovely feature LED panels throughout interior and exterior. It's all fully dimmable on programmable. Just come around there, you can see the panels, lots of different programs. Uh, Sunseeker working on their own app-based system, which will allow you potentially to hook that into a system that will control climate, AV and, uh, and lighting in the future. So just covering off the galley here in the starboard aft quarter. Boats built for usage, so very popular charter size this. Uh, so these are optional either as fridge or uh, freezer drawers. We've got a nice Miele oven there, four burner electric top, uh, set of Royal Dalton crockery up top there. A uh, cutlery drawer hidden under the, the top here. Lots of cupboards packed in, all on uh, soft close mechanisms. Slimline dishwasher. And then round in the front of the bar here, lovely feature dartington crystal glasses and then your wine cooler again illuminated to give you a nice little feature uh, then we come forward so we've got a slightly raised little plinth there just a single step up into the main deck saloon uh, tv is becoming much more of a, a permanent feature on new builds i say the boat's now a lot more connectivity into the electronics uh, which means you need a screen to see and control a lot of that so 55 inch high bright led tv there big seating area opposite and you've got these massive windows to so say you can see them from outside but really get to take in how much natural light we get and if we just sit down here on the starboard side of the boat uh, it was a nice feature worth noting if we spin the camera back round so you've got this little glass pane and you actually see through the window there so if you imagine sat at anchor get a bit of water reflection off top there and we've got a lovely view you can still see all the way to the aft of the boat connected very much with the galley you imagine sitting here watching the world go by it so it's a really nice open feeling boat and then opposite the lower helm so we've got this nice sort of raised chaise area Again, these sort of feature lights up in the in the walls here. If I just, sit, just sit down again on this side, you can now see the visibility all the way through the screens. Right across to the starboard helm opposite. So of course, partnered with Simrad, so we've got a full premium Simrad uh, nav pack here. So we've got two 16 inch uh, Evo 3 screens, we've got 64 nautical mile Halo Pulse radar system, uh, autopilot AIS, connectivity into an iPad. Uh, we've got a, an iPad actual dock here, boat comes with a single unit for controlling so some of the onboard AV, uh, wireless charging point. This is Sunseeker's proprietary um, CM8 system which gives you things like tank and voltage readouts, um, alarm systems and what have you. I say that's coming into the um, the app system we're working on and then we've got some nice navigation system controls here on the multi-function wheel just saves having to to reach forward to those screens all the time uh, then again part of the platinum pack we've got a proportional stern thruster in with the standard bow thruster there so full control fly-by-wire throttles here so everything's nicely to hand for docking I've got my vhf here on the the bulkhead and then this handy crew door so whether you are running with a captain or just for deck access as an owner operator everything's kind of nicely laid out easy to to get your way around the boat um, accommodation below decks actually split into two separate zones so we've got guest cabin accommodation down here forward which is separate access to the master 
Uh, lots of upgrades on things like upholsteries and furnishings. So this is a carpet upgrade. Try and come in to give you a, a feel on the finish there. And three cabins. So midships, these are uh, obviously twin cabins, uh, fixed beds in the floor. They've all got things like good size hanging wardrobes. Uh, there's a storage cupboard in the corner there. Looks like the reading lights. Uh, 24 inch TV up on the bulkhead there. Again, Apple TV. Uh, there's an onboard 4G router. So you've got connectivity within about 20 miles of land. So that's another mirror image cabin here. And these two are sharing the bathroom over here. So this is, uh, this is also your day head. And we've got some nice upgrades with things like the porcelain. Soaker shower up in the roof there. Tecmo vacuum flush toilets. So it's a lovely, uh, lovely finish here in the bathrooms. Uh, handy touch here, it's worth noting we've got lift up stairwell, just what would otherwise be dead space. So that's room to put a hoover in there. And then VIP guest cabin forward. So island double berth. Loads of little features, things like this stainless steel strips in the bed here. Uh, we're on EU two pin sockets, easy enough to change out for, for UK if you wish. High level storage. Cupboards over here. Uh, 40 inch TV up on the bulkhead there. Again, uh, Sonant speakers up the top there. Linked in with the Sonos. Wardrobe over on the starboard. We've got this nice little illuminated bookcase feature panel. Looks contrasts nicely with the white high gloss lacquer. Uh, there's some storage in there as well. And then if we head back up, separate uh, access here down to the master cabin. So if you remember that little window we saw from the TV point earlier we curve round back on ourselves and we arrive into the master suite so very private from other guests and and kids and what have you on board a number of different layouts in here so this particular yacht we've got the optional extended sideboard so you just pop these cupboards open and you can see we've gained some storage obviously never have too much storage if you're using the boat away from the dock for a few days at a time. Uh, there's also an option to have a straight chaise in here. We can do a breakfast table and two chairs. There's a nice full length hanging locker in there. Uh, things like bedside tables here. Leather finishes on the top. Into think evolving away from plugs into things like USBs by the bed. Fabric upgrades on the bulkhead here, smoke mirror glass. Again with those feature reading lights. So it's very neutral finishing here. 55 inch telly up on the bulkhead there. Uh, we've got some little cupboards underneath. This is your AV system in there. So say Sonos subsystem, uh, twin. Wardrobes over here on the starboard. A safe in the back there. These are all shallow, shallow drawers through the uh, sideboard here. Again, cupboards down below. And then, of course, an ensuite. Lots of LED feature lighting. Uh, we've got electric heated towel rails both here and in the forward VIP. Bathroom again, soaker shower, good size, good size compartment there. So it's really built for um, for extended periods away on board. We're carrying uh, four thousand liters of fuel, so we've got a range, really somewhere between three and four hundred miles realistically on something this size. So if we come back to a displacement speed, eleven knots, we're burning under hundred liters an hour, 
gives us a range about 413 miles. Step it up a gear into planing speed, 24 knots cruise is where I'd say this sits nicely. We're burning about 270 litres an hour. Gives us a range about 320 litres, uh, sorry, 320 nautical miles. So surprisingly, you get almost as far on the same fuel burn, such as the efficiency once you're up and planing, just really proves that going slower is not always the most efficient way of running your boat. Uh, so out here we come up a nice wide ladder to the flybridge. Uh, obviously as a potential charter boat we've got the wet bar here right at the top of the stairs just makes serving for crew very straightforward and beneath the top there we've got a good size refrigerator, um, ice maker, this one's a sink. barbecue. Uh, some of this will work off the domestic battery system through the inverter so we've got a seamless transfer system that will run both the AV and uh, things like the ice maker, refrigeration what have you overnight on battery otherwise you're on to generator power obviously if you want to run your aircon. Uh, we've got a 27 kilowatt single uh, generator unit on board. You can see that lovely beautiful black painted hard top here uh, there's a sun awning on the aft section here which comes out across the the aft end of the flybridge here everything's painted in that black the radar chair up there what have you uh, this is again very versatile space so everybody's slightly different in what they wish to get out of a flybridge uh, obviously this particular boat's got spec downstairs with those big uh, sun pad cushions so there's a there's a raised frame and then some cushions to sit in here Obviously plenty of space if you want to go freestanding, sort of summit teak furniture. Uh, dare I say we can even put a hot tub up here if you really wish, but I think for most owners these days, sort of freestanding options just gives a little bit more versatility. Uh, no dining table up here is standard. So again, options, we can do a, a fixed table in here. Uh, we can do a, an L-shaped seat in here with a fixed table. Uh, again, lots of owners just electing to sit in that aft cockpit out of the wind for their kind of more formal diamond arrangements. But uh, say, boats are all built custom or we can easily retrofit items where they need to on the, on the stock boats here. Flybridge helm, starboard side, uh, mirror image of everything downstairs, a little bit smaller on the screen. So we've got two 12 inch NNS uh, Evo 3 screens here. Again, with all our proportional thruster controls and what have you. And the visibility is great. I can see all the way from the bow right back to the stern there. Easy over the side here. I can look down through the stairs there and I can see the back end of the bathing platform. So coming in med style mooring, I can see the key wall behind. And then when I've got the, uh, the wish to get my head out in the sunshine, obviously open up this centre section in the roof. At the touch of a button. Uh, there's a nice little pull up acrylic screen in here just for a bit of extra sun protection and if we just sit here at the the helm you can just see how everything's really nicely to hand again that multi-function steering wheel is very useful rather than having to lean forward and touch those screens a worthy upgrade uh, there's some storage underneath here again speaker upgrade in line with the nav say the av the the TVs, it's all very, very, uh, very, very high spec on this particular boat, as generally our stock boats are. And then last but no means least, we look in the, uh, what was once the oily bits, but now these days very clinically finished. Beautiful engine room, real uh, statement piece when you talk about Sunseekers engineering. Uh, it's compact in here, obviously, not wanting to take up too much unwanted Space, but we've got a pair of V8 uh, MAN engines here, larger 1200 horsepower option. Everything's beautifully laid out, so lots of um, compliant kit in here for chartering already. Things like fire flaps, full fire suppression systems, inverter chargers. Okay, everything's nicely labeled. Look on the bulkheads how clinically finished everything is. 
on the electrical systems. Fresh water wash down down there. So generator sat up on the outboard side there. Uh, this is a hot water storage tank up above the port engine. Uh, fuel tanks are split there with a balance pipe underneath, I said 4,000 litres, and there's 900 litres of water. Uh, boat's prepared for a water maker if you ever wish to fit one, and we would just add another cradle like this over the, um, the starboard engine here if you wish. Lots of owners not going far enough on a boat this size really to run out, but it's an option there if you wish. There's your water intakes down there. Again, easy to get to, all the daily checks and what have you, as required. Just drop the hatch back down. Uh, so there you have it, I say 2.38 million pounds X-Tax, as you see here, loaded up, other than sticking a tender on, perhaps some uh, safety equipment, chart card, a boat cleaning kit and that sort of general ship stores, really she's, uh, she's ready to go. Great option for 2021 season, if you want to build one of these now really we're into the back end of summer next year, so it's a great opportunity, beat the, uh, beat the rush before the, uh, the season gets going next year, obviously is the main distributor for most of the European territories, uh, onward shipping to anywhere in the south of France, Mediterranean, Balearics, uh, Adriatic and what have you is no problem for us. We'll keep it here somewhere local on the south coast. So £15,000 for an annual mooring for something like this on the Hamble River with a full guardianage package and it's, uh, it's only a, a car journey away if you don't wish to get on a plane with, with travel as it is at the moment uh, and then when things ease off in the future you've then got the option to, to take it further afield. So I hope you enjoyed that today. Whether you're interested in this particular yacht, a new build, uh, perhaps something a bit larger or smaller, obviously the forthcoming Manhattan 55 would be your size down from this or going up to the 76 yacht is the upgrade for something a bit bigger. I so say my email is james at sunseekersouthampton.com or my mobile is plus four four seven seven four seven six eight six five eight seven. Please get in touch. We talk about the options both on the new boats the used stock, the brokerage, lots of, uh, lots of options out in the market at the moment. Um, so if you'd like to know more, please, uh, we look forward to hearing from you.